I want to quickly mention this before we go into other topics because I kind of want to run around and move the topics here and there and give you a bit of this, give you a bit of that. So I want to hope, I really hope this is not true. I hope this is not true. But it seems like Brendan might have lied the most egregious lie he's ever sold. And I think I've said it before on the pod, I've said it before on the stream. Brendan's lies remind me a lot of kids that I grew up with. Like, and I use the example of the kid that always said he had all the computer consoles when we were growing up. He had the PlayStation, he had Dreamcast, he had um, Nintendo 64, uh, whatever else, right? Um, whatever, any else thing, PC, he had everything at that time. And back then, of course, you know, maybe it's the same with inflation, but back then to own all the flipping consoles was a lot of money. You were basically spending 500 quid per console, which is, you know, you could easily get up to the 5K mark, especially when you factor in PCs and whatnot. And you would lie about that often. And then it got to a point where back then, of course, you couldn't play online. It was not, it, well, it did exist, but it wasn't as prominent as it is now. So a lot, of the, a lot of the video game playing that we do before was going around each other's houses. So you bring your controller and you plug it in and you play with somebody. And I remember this kid would never let us come to his house. He would never invite us over. He'd always make an excuse. My mom's got a headache. My dad is tired. Some, my house burned down, whatever. Just always a lie, always an excuse. Then it got to a point where we finally got invited because his mom told us to come in one day. And then we saw he didn't have any of the computers he was talking about. He just lied. But he used to lie about everything. So it wasn't only the consoles. He'd lie about the football teams he played for, girls, all these type of things. So Brendan really reminds me of that kid because his lies are so egregious, so unnecessary. And the other thing that he reminds me about that kid is that sometimes they're unprovoked. Because I imagine, you know, you could lie a lot to somebody if you keep getting put into a corner. Like I imagine, remember that guy? I forgot the comedian's there. I think his name is Steve Renazizi. I think that's his name. Remember that he was that comedian who lied about being in the Twin Towers when the 9-11 attack happened, right? But how he explains it, it makes a lot of sense how he lied. Because he was from, he's from New York, he used to maybe work in and around the area and I think he was on a radio show and somebody asked him a question that kind of sounded like they asked him hey were you in the buildings and in that moment because of all the flipping outpouring of love and some emotion all that sort of stuff right with the outpouring of love and support he just kind of panicked and just said the lie in that moment and then by the time he realized it was a bad idea that the story had already kind of gained the legs of its own and people were spreading around the guy was in the he was in the building he was in the building he was in the building and then so but surely it goes crazy and by that time it's too late to kind of take it back because everyone's kind of run with it i kind of get it but the thing that brendan reminds me of that friend that i kind of grew up with was that he lies unprovoked you don't even have to like prompt him you don't even have to goad him or say anything he just throw out a lie straight away and this is one of the most egregious lies i've ever heard in my entire life in my entire life so this is courtesy of um thick boy he's obviously channel it's a youtube short where he alleges he's been in dm communication with rick ross yeah you heard this right brendan shulp says rick ross and him talk regularly about his flipping new addiction which is fish you know before it was riding bikes bike club then it was what um What's the other thing he's doing? Uh, running and stuff. Like, there's always an, an addiction that kind of runs through his line that doesn't really, you know, a, a new hobby he kind of jumps on. Now he's all about fish. And he said he had some conversation with Rick Ross about fishes and tanks and whatnot, which is absolutely incredible because in the next video, I'll show you a clip where he might have got the entire scenario from. So either he's telling the truth about the story or he's completely making it up because of this video he watched. My addiction has gotten worse. <laughs> Rick Ross takes me because the... I was talking about, uh, yeah, how crazy is that? I can't believe that just, that's 2023 for you. Rick Ross DM me, sorry, I didn't text, DM me and has this, and, uh, I was talking about fish tanks. I'm ballsy with fish tanks. And uh, we posted about it. He must have saw it because he DM me. He just installed a $700,000 fish tank. I don't even know what that looks like. I just responded, yeah, but do you have a blue lobster with sunglasses on? Didn't DM back. Didn't DM back. Now, for me personally, I hope he's not lying and I hope this is not just something you made up at the figment of the imagination. To be charitable to him, to be somewhat charitable to Brendan Shaw, I have a feeling he may have, actually let's zoom into this because his face looks so redacted here. God Almighty looks menacing, doesn't he? Look at that. Look at that face, mate. Jesus Christos, Brendan. Lay off the booze. But I've got a feeling what might have happened is Rick Ross was sharing something on his Instagram stories and because he's verified on Instagram, your messages come up first, I think, if you're verified, right? I think so. If I'm not mistaken, your messages come up first or they come in a separate folder, but there's some sort of like notification they give you if you're verified on Instagram. I'm not verified, I don't know, where it kind of 
basically puts it in your face like hey this verified person replied so i have a feeling brendan was on rick ross's instagram looking at his stories and in one of the stories rick ross talked about his tanks and his fishes and brendan replied and said something and then maybe rick ross double tapped his message or said something i don't know something something to him back but he said in the beginning rick ross text or dm me so he's acting as if like rick ross is watching the fire and the kid and is aware that he's into fishes now or he's on his instagram account it's absolutely redic redacted to the nth degree but if you're wondering where that you know if you don't believe my end of it where i'm saying i think he might have just replied to an instagram story and you think he invented the whole thing as a lie the other part of it that's absolutely hilarious is this video where it might be an indication as to where he got the entire story from about rick ross having fish in the first place because it's such a random thing to kind of talk about so this is a video courtesy of the account called nine mag tv about rick ross installing a huge fish tank in one of his mansions <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, sorry, sorry. B <laughs> exactly, ADD. He doesn't know who you are. Definitely, Rick Ross doesn't know who he is. Definitely, 100%. But it's such an insane lie to tell. I hope it's not a lie. I hope it's just him, you know, basically adding salt to a story and trying to make it a little bit more than what it actually is or if it is a lie is him watching this video and internalizing it like him going online and typing in celebrities with fish tanks the first video that comes up is rick ross and he basically made that story his story <laughs> The only thing that's a bit annoying about this is there's an installation of a fish tank in your house, isn't it? No matter if you're a multi-millionaire like Rick Ross, you have all the means in the world, you still have this ugly process of getting the fish tank into your house, right? With wooden pallets stacked on top of each other and watch something there that probably has got rolls, wheels on it that you can roll in, a crane. like It's just such a cumbersome and, you know, brick-a-brack, ugly type of way to get your thing in it. It just doesn't look great in it. It's not the most sleekest um, installation ever exists, is it, really? <laughs> Uche, not crispy. It sounds Chris. Chris. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Big up my Chris, man. <laughs> It doesn't sound crispy, it sounds crisp. <laughs> crisp Monday morning. <laughs> I got the fish tank of my dreams coming in. It's finna go into the walls, baby. That's the bottom part. You be at the bottom and it'll go through the wall right here. You'll be able to see it on both sides. In what reality would Rick Ross even know who Brendan Shaw is? Fair enough, he spoke about maybe Snoop Dogg. Because Snoop Dogg is quite familiar with the UFC and he watches it and stuff. And he's into, you know, combat sports. He watches boxing. But why would Rick Ross, why it's Rick Ross, why would Rick Ross know who flipping Brendan Shaw is? Like, honestly, like just in a, in, in, in a reasonable world, where would they ever cross paths? Where would it make any sense? Rick, Rick Brendan isn't even one of those white comics who kind of has a lot of black friends. He's not even one, he's not Gary Owen or something, right? He's not, he's not in that scene at all. He hangs around with who? Callan and that's it. And BGL, RIP and Big J. Like who else is he hanging around with that would ever make that make any sense? It's absolutely incredible. You feel me? Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Fish tank of my dreams just arrived. That tank looks absolutely beautiful though. I'm not going to that tank does look absolutely beautiful, but the maintenance I'd imagine the upkeep on making sure that thing is clean and you know in the right order and the water's replaced and you know you're not overfeeding stuff, it just must be insane. But that does look absolutely beautiful, I'm not going to lie.
So as you can see by the looks of this video, he got his entire narrative, his entire narrative of Rick Ross texting him and talking to him about fish may have come from this video. <laughs> Yeah, Space Guy's route is true here, isn't it? A, a, a fish tank of that size has seafood restaurant vibes. Yeah, that is true. Now you said it, I can't unsee that now. It? it does look like something that you'd see in a Benny Hanna's or, or even a P.F. Chang's. Do you know what I mean? One of the type of restaurants. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, the fish, the fish. Is, actually, I saw those, a couple of those in Bali. They'd make that, make they make, they think it was tasty. There'd be these places in Bali where I went ages ago where they had these restaurants with fish tanks and they had lobsters in there and they plucked them out and act like that was fresh from the sea. It's like, mm, dropping a fish that you already, lobster you already bought into a fish tank and then plucking it out to make it seem like it came straight from the river is a little bit deceptive. But you know what I mean? It's, it is what it is, isn't it? I'm a gringo. I'm going to give you your money. I'm going to keep it moving. Everybody in my DMs know this is not the promised land. No, this is not the promised land. This is El Palacio. El Palacio. Yeah, I 100% I agree or believe that Brendan watched that video and legitimately thought that he could just regurgitate it and no one would know because if I'm not mistaken, the video is from like a year ago, right? It's a year old, this video. So clearly he thought no one would ever find out that he he basically watched a video of rick ross installing his fish tank and basically caught up to that story and made it seem like rick ross texted him that's absolutely a heinous crime i can't believe that lie legitimately one of the most insane brendan shoeblies i've ever heard in my entire life that rick ross actually texted him like just do you understand that like not even oh i replied back to him on dms no he said rick ross texted him do you know how insane that is like do you know how insane that is 